Welcome to I Love Stocks, and I got a list for us tonight. I'm going to kind of just run right through them, but this is our some of the tickers that the room asked me to do today, plus a few that I wanted to few I wanted to throw in on my own. So let's get right to it. We're going to, first one we're going to talk about is going to be. Let me pull up my chart here. Whoop, that ain't the right one. Smackdown, that ain't the right one. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and type in M V I S. Had a pretty good run today after hours. Let's see if it had any news here. Oh man, what's going on here? We got components milestone. Blah, miles completing range Ladar sensor milestone. So something about a milestone here, microvision. So yeah, this looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up the yearly chart on it. Take a look at it. Might have to re-race. I had some resistance levels here at 1986, and here after hours we're at 2175. I'll tell you one thing that I've been having to do, and let's go back three years to look for resistance levels. Here we, again, I was telling someone in the room, I said, I haven't seen the market quite like this in years. And just by pulling up the chart, you can tell what I'm talking about. That's a three-year time frame. So we're going to go back ten years. I'm going to put this at the month. And I'm going to try to find some resistance levels. Still can't find any. Let's go back 20 years. Let's see what 20 years tells us here. Might be able to find something on a 20-year chart. There we go. So I had to go back to 2009. And that's when we had the crash back in 2007. So we've had a pretty good sell-off on this stock in the past few years. So the next resistance level that I had was at 1986. So I'm pulling up a 20 year chart and I'm looking for resistance levels. The next one on MVIS is going to be right here at 2602. Then we got another one right down here. I'm going down here on these candle frames here. We got another resistance there at 2359. And then we could say we can might take this thing long to right around $28. We're definitely going to have to break this 200 right here. This is a 200 EMA, and that's going to run right up there. And we've already broke that. We've already broke past that, so that's a big deal right here. Right now we're at 21.77 after hours. Now I want to try to find a support level. We've got a resistance level long, and go ahead and jot these down right now. 23.59. 2602 and 2804 on a 20-year chart. So we're going to go ahead and pull this back to 20-day. And I got a support level right there. Pretty strong. And then I got another one right here. This is on the hour chart, hour time frame. And then we're going to pull up the five-minute. See if I can find anything. We got a double top here at 2224. I'm using the body of the candlesticks. Okay, it pulled back to this support level, which is pretty good, and then bounced right back up on it, and we're creating a little U. So we're going to have to break this double top to get to them previous resistances that I talked about before. Now, if it does decide to pull back, look at this 1794 for a strong buy. That's a 50% retracement on the five-minute chart. I'm going to go ahead and change this a different color, and that's the stock, that's the number I wanted to see hold. That's going to be right here at 1794. If she does pull back to that number, and that runs in right into the 34 EMA or the 100 EMA. And then always, you know, I use this 200 a lot too. But for right now, 1794 needs to hold. And then we've got probably another support channel right in here between. That's going to be a strong buy if it does pull back to that area. Now we can't pull all the way back down here to this 1593. Don't. Don't, you know, don't mind you there. I mean, it can pull back to that. But I want to see this number here at 1794 hold. I want to see that resistance level at 22, uh, 24 break. And that's going to be a double top. Strong support is going to be right here at 2028. I'll turn this into a red line. So that's going to be more or less your first support area, your second is going to be that 1986 and then that third is going to be here at 19 dollars 
and if that doesn't hold we want it to definitely hold here at 18 1794 and that's MVIS I'm excited about this trade right now just watching it after hours the next one we're going to talk about is uh, one that I've been scalping here swinging it overnight and then taking the spike and then buying the dip and that's HIMX uh, one of the gentlemen has been really monitoring this in the room Mr. X Wall Street for I don't know how long but he really likes this stock and says he's gonna buy him a BMW out of the deal so we've got some resistance levels we're now we're at 1550 I was going to buy this into close and I decided to go ahead and wait, but we did pull back to a solid support today, and that's right here at 1518. So keep that number in mind. If she does not hold that number, we can pull back down here to around 1490 or even down here to this lower level of 1424. But let me go ahead, yeah, I'm going to stick with that. Resistance to break tomorrow is going to be the 1648, then we can go ahead and take her up to 1675. Now I took it to scalp on this trade yesterday and then I swung it again overnight again today and I brought it up here to right about this 1647 and I got out of it first thing this morning. I seen the double top, decided it's going to pull back a little bit. It did pull back to real strong support that we pulled back to yesterday and that's going to be at 1518. Resistance to break is going to be here at 1646 and then we can take it and try to break 1675. And then maybe run it up to right around 17, 1728, and then long with a double top and 24 hour or two day period at 1784. And that's going to be HIMX. I don't want to look at it tomorrow. We're getting later in the week. Might buy a small position and just hold it, but I'm letting it rest because I've scalped it three times now or swung it three times overnight and took my profit. So the next one we're going to talk about is one that Miss Vegas jumped in, and I think Tony jumped in. A Y R O. It's in the EV car business. It's had a pretty good little run. The momentum's behind it. It's a very low float, very low float. And resistance to break is going to be no higher than this 1150, and support level. I've got three yellow lines right here. I wanted to see the hold this 1054. If not. We could probably pull back to this other support level, and that's right here in the equilibrium of this channel. And I'm thinking that resistance level is going to be right here. That support level is going to be right at 10 bucks. I want to see that hold to gain pride above 10. If not, she might take a dive down here to 855 or this 950 area. But for right now, I'm bullish on the trade, and I will play it tomorrow for a scout play. I won't swing it. But there, we are thinking it might go to 20, but it hit my resistance that I called today in the room at 1141. We hit 1150. So support level is going to be this $10. I want to see it hold. If not, we've got 950 and 850, well, 902, and then at 855. And that's going to be A-Y-R-O. The next one after that is going to be Naked. Naked's running after hours. N-A-K-D. Got in this trade, scalped it today. I swung it over the week, I mean last night, and I took my money, my profit out of it this morning. Got back in it. No, I'm not back in it right now. I should have probably got back in it. But I got out of it here at 139 and 128. And so I traded it twice today. I traded it on the pullback once I got out of it at 128. And then she went ahead and pulled back. I jumped back in it and took my profit again at 139. Now this thing can double top and break resistance here at 173 and then run on up to two dollars. I'm bullish on naked and let's get naked. So again, let's try to find some support levels on a pullback. And I'm thinking maybe ooh, this is it right here at 148. I want to see this number hold at 148. If she does decide to pull back, I'm going to turn that into a red line. That's going to be a red line, solid support. And then I'll chase it back up and try to get out at 173, see if I can't break that. But we do are setting up here kind of in an ascending, well, more or less a pennant flag, because we do have a higher low right here. Now, if this was up a little bit more, I'd call this an ascending triangle. I'm still bullish on this flag. I think it can break 173, 
but solid support here at 148 and 139 and maybe you know at 135 if it pulls on back and that's naked I like it I think we will break two dollars on it the next one we're going to talk about is going to be DBX Dropbox this is one that I've traded a couple times a little while back we're going to pull up the yearly chart take a look at it I'm going to clean this all up start fresh that's what I like to do we've got a little I'm going to look for a pivot point on this chart. I'm going to look for my little pivot point. I found it right in here. Now, why do I call this a pivot point? It's because we've tried to break it here, and then we pulled back right here, which creates a little pivot point on the yearly chart. So that's going to be your solid support. That's what I look for first when I'm looking to get into a trade. And that's right at 2171. So we've got another resistance level right here, which now will become support. And that's going to be at this triple top. She kind of pulled back. And then we had, this is a pattern. This is a bullish pattern if you're looking for a swing. I mean, you'd have to stay in it a long time. Me, I'd have been scalping it up and down, taking my money as I can go. But for right now, I think we're ready for a good pullback on it. We did try to break the double top up here. And we did succeed, but she pulled right back, and that's right at 24.94. So that's going to be my resistance to break, 24.94 on the double top. And we got another resistance right here off this candle right here at 24.23. And then I'm going to try to find an equilibrium in this channel, and that's going to be right there. That's going to be your solid support. I'm looking at this little spot right here. And I think because, you know, we tried to break it, it pulled back. We stopped right here, and then she did break it to the triple top, and then she pulled back. So, and then we're going to give it one more just low case scenario. I want to see it hold. I want to see it hold this double top. If not, it can drop down here to 2046. See where we pulled back right here? We tried to break resistance right in here, and then this is the signed candle right here to tell me that that's the number we got to hold on Dropbox strong buy going ahead and set an alert right there for myself just in case we hit that number i'll be ready to take the trade so that alert's set we've got a resistance to break which is going to be a triple top tomorrow at 24.94 or she'll pull back to this first support right in here at the 23.55 area 23.55 why because that's where we tried to break that triple top. So that's going to be your first support. Second one's 2284. And then I'm going to try to find an equilibrium in this channel. Which is going to be right, right there. So it's kind of hard to say. Yeah. 2232. And then 2171. And if it just goes ahead and pulls on back, a strong buy at 2042. Resistance to break going to be a tomorrow at a triple top at 2494. I think she's going to come back and try to create a channel in here and move on sideways. As long as we're raising that bar of resistance, I'm still bullish on the trade. But for right now, Dropbox, first support, 2355 needs to hold. If that doesn't hold, then we got 2284, 2232, and 2171. With strong buy at 2046. I need to raise this up just a little bit. Not be set because I don't want to get in on that bar. A lot of times we might not touch that bar. I'd like to get in it a little bit sooner. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be Shop. S H O P. Shop had a great big run today. S H O P. Hit a resistance level of 1486.49. When I see something like this, I think it's a little overextended, and we're going to go ahead and pull up the 20-day chart. We've got a little trend line right in here. So we did pull back to that first support level that I called out to one of the gentlemen in the room. I said 14.50.02 is where she's going to pull back to that previous high, and that's exactly what she did. Now, the other support level is going to be where she pulled back to, and that's at 14.27 with down here on the one hour candlestick right at 1400 
with a strong, strong buy down here at 1348, 1349 more or less. Penny or two, I think that's what I'm looking at. On those three scenarios, with a resistance to break at 1486. This has really been a nice little run here in the last two weeks, and she does not need to come back and pull back a little bit and kind of consolidate and not get too far out of hand. And that's going to be shop. The next one we're going to be looking at is TRTC. TRTC is a marijuana sector. She's had a pretty good little run again. We got a nice little pennant flag right here, Foreman. As you can see, I use the bodies of the candles. That's a pennant flag. We got the flag pull right here, and then she's gone ahead and, and then she's got the flag with the lower high and the higher lows. And that's pretty steep, which is telling me this thing can break out higher. Now this thing is right now is at, we're going to have to go back some years on this one too, I think. Right there at 71 cents. With a support level right down here from this previous high that we had on the candlestick at 60, 69. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw one more down here just for good lip measures right here at 5108. So let's go ahead and pull up the yearly chart and take a look at it and see if it tells me anything. Nope doesn't tell me a word three year does though so I'm going back three years I've gone back 10 years and I've gone back 20 years and I haven't talked like this until we had that crash back and COVID came and then I was calling supports at a 20 year chart and a 10 year chart so we're kind of looking at resistance levels now we broke out of that big big pattern and look at here, man. I mean, I was trading this thing up all the way up in here to 215. So what I'm really wanting to do, I, I'm going to go ahead and erase these lines and start fresh again because I got to get rid of all these lines. And we're going to find a resistance level here at 116, right there on the 200 on the three-year and then we've got support level here at 59.41. And then we've got 88.69. Then we've got another resistance level right up here. And this is on TRTC. I'm motivated on this stock. This is a real cool company. In case you don't know what they do, I'm going to pull up the website. It won't take a second here. Terra Corporation. I'll go straight to Wahoo Finance. Well, that's what they do is they grow marijuana. Cultivating and providing the highest quality medical cannabis and other agricultural products. And I think they grow like flowers and fruits and all kinds of stuff. But... Always go to their websites, get familiar with their companies. U.S. legal pot sales expected to hit $8 billion by the year of 2018. I think they, they're a little behind. They need to update this here website. We're into 2021, fellas. So let's go ahead and look back at the chart again. This is TRTC. I pulled up the three-year. We've got a 216 high to get to. First, we've got to break this past this dollar. And once we do that, that resistance level here at 88.69, one let's find a little spot in here between, 130, what is this, 136, and then that 160, and then the 216. And I think that would be a good little spot to maybe take your profit. But for right now, support level is going to be on that. 20 day and I'm going to go ahead and draw these trend lines in here and I want to get this wick uh, we'll bring it up well no I like this wick I'll tell you why because of the body of this candle right here and the body of this one so we're at, we're at 70 cents here we did make it to 75 today Strong buy is probably going to be no lower than this 50 cents if she does decide to pull back a knife. That's going to be your strong buy area. 
and you got more or less your first support channel is going to be right in here between 63 and 65 that's going to be your first support channel I'm going to color that in TRTC a lot of these cannabis stocks that you used to play or used to watch go back and look at them because they're starting to do some good we got a pennant flag right here more or less first support channel like I said 63 to 65 the second support, so here at 59.41. Uh, third one's going to be right here at 59.94 with a strong buy down here at 60, 51 cents. And that's going to be TRTC. Here's another baby that was running out of the gate today. I got a $20 target on it, and that's pot stock ABC. We did pull back to this, whoa, ACB. ABC, easy as one, two, three. There, I did it again. ACB. Trying to be politically correct with me here. Go ahead and draw this resistance level. Right there at 2012. We did hit the $20 level. After hours. Well, I didn't know that. I've been out. Just got back in. So that was our target. 20 bucks. We hit it. Shabam. Support at 1792, and I'm just trying to look in these candles where I see a lot of uh, a lot of uh, consolidation from the candlesticks of the bodies of the candles. We'll pull this up on the daily one minute. See if I missed anything in here. I'd like to take this 1907 and drop it just a little bit, but right there, 1898. That's going to be that yellow trend line, 1898. So we've got three support levels with a strong buy down here at 1705. And we've got the third support at 1785, 1833. And then that first one that needs to hold. Oh, let me redo this again. Okay. What we've got here now, we might pull back to a triple bottom here at 1960. If not, we could hit this solid support. This is a solid support because of the double top break. And that's going to be here right around $19. So that's going to be your, your real first solid support. If this 1960 holds, we'll go ahead and break up resistance and get past 2046. But for right now, this got to hold at 1960. If not, we'll double top, hit this double top here at $19 and like to see that hold. That's going to be your first support. Second is going to be 1833. And then that third one at 1785. And then load up down here at 1705. That's ACB. We hit our $20 target. We got to break this double top up here or triple top at 20, 2046. And then we got another pot stock we're going to talk about. And that's going to be Cron. Cron, I got a $20 target on. Right now we're at 1583. We got a resistance level up here at 1651 with a solid. See how these pull back to the previous double top highs? You got to kind of, you know, when you're looking at stocks, go back to the previous day or even that same day and look for that previous high because that can save your butt a lot of times when you want to try to, instead of chasing a stock, many times on a breakout, many times they'll pull back to that previous high. Just keep that in mind when you're when you're sit there and you're looking at something and you one part of yourself is telling you to get into the trade and then another part is telling you not to. It's your gut working on your system. You gotta have confidence before you jump in these trades. And then we got another one right down here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that resistance level right support level right here. So I got three support levels with a strong buy right down here at 1430 to 1405. That's going to be your lowest channel of support. Resistance to break is going to be the 1651. We held on so far right here at the first support level. And that's going to magnify this up so I can see the numbers a little bit better. That's going to be at 1580. So that's, that needs to hold. If not, we'll pull back to the 1543. Back here to the 1508, 
and then that needs to hold in a way if not 1471 and then a strong buy down here at 1430 if it does dip on down to that area resistance to break at 1651 keep that in mind we got a $20 target on Cron and then I've got one more pot stock to show up shove at you now this is a dividend player G-R-O-W. They do have a monthly dividend and a quarterly dividend. They've raised the quarterly dividend 100% to 50 cents and the monthly is 0 .005. So this is one that they want you to hold on to and ride it out. And this is called Grow. Like to grow. That's what these pot stocks are doing. They're growing right now. And we got a low support right down here. A strong buy from the previous high that we had the previous day here at 710. I'm going to turn that into a red line. Red line. Okay, first support 787. Second, I mean, this is really so close right in here, but that 775, if that holds, that'll be great. And that third one's going to be right down here at the 750 level. Now, I like to see that hold. It can pull back to this lower one too. Kind of undecisive trade here. Grow at 828. We got a $10 target on this. I got to see this resistance level of 843 break. And that's going to be your strong strong buy down here at the other red line. Let me magnify this up so we can see it better at 710. So we've got a few support levels that really need to hold and this 750 is one of them. So I kind of would like to make that my third support to hold. It's not a big spread here, so this thing can jump on down to this seven bucks, seven ten, but that seven twenty eight is where it really needs to hold. And then I just love this area right in here. I mean, if this thing can hold to seven fifty, we're still bullish on it. Now resistance to break is going to be right here at eight twenty two. Now I'm wondering how far back I'm going to have to get on this trade. So let's go back and look at time. Let's look at the yearly chart real fast. We're at an all-time high on the year. Let's go back three years. Three-year high. Let's go back 20 years. I don't think this stock's been around that long, but we'll check it out. Woo! We got some room. These are the kind of charts I like to see. Now I'm going back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 years to find these resistance levels. 14. And I'm telling you, I haven't seen like nothing like this in a while since the COVID crash. And that's when I was looking for support levels. When we had this little crash down here. And see, she held up pretty good at the support level down here been a pretty good call if we'd seen this thing here at 80 cents look at it now it's up at 805 so we got a little resistance level let's change this line right here at this 958 let's get rid of this and raise it up just a little bit 988 then we've got the 1127 and then 1291 now we can get there I'm not kidding uh, this thing got some momentum. She's really been running up real well this year. And real hot in the pot sector and the EV car sector. But we've got a lot of kids, a lot of retail, retail traders trading that are into marijuana. Especially now that it's legal. A lot more fun for them than when I was a kid. 1291 is the hard resistance to break. You see where we pulled back right here and where we topped right here. So that 12891 is going to be the hard one to break. Now let's pull this back up on the 20 day. Let me give you these numbers real fast while I'm here on the 20 year. Next resistance levels after we break 844 is 988, 1127, and then that 1291 for a hard resistance. And that's grow. Let's bring this up just to the daily one minute, see if I missed anything on it. Okay, support levels again. I like to see this number hold right here at 750. If not, we'll take it on down to this other support level at 729. You've got three supports. 
787, 775, and then that's 750. And that's grow. And that's it for the market report. I hope you really enjoyed this. Please subscribe, ring that bell, let YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. Miss Vegas, she has a Twitter account here. I love stocks. Go ahead and hit your uh, hit that follow button. We're posting alerts in here at all times. We got huge. Talked about it. Up huge. A Y R O. We called that one out in the room. Got some other ones in here. There's my little chart right there on this one where I was calling out resistance levels. So that's it. Also, we have stock twits here. Hit our stock twits. Follow us there if you're not a member of our room. Please subscribe. We've got our YouTube link here. You can go back and watch some previous videos that we've done. And that's it. We'll see you all tomorrow. Enjoy the day. I love stocks.